Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So before I start this talk today, I want to say the most important thing, regardless of what happens, is that you and your family are prepared to deal with whatever may come. We're not always going to agree on the hypotheses, on the predictions, on what might be coming. But there are other things that we're always going to be aligned on. How to make a fire, you know, um, how to make a shelter, how to catch fish, how to process wild game, how to grow food, how to use a ham radio, how to shoot a firearm. These are all areas where opinion by and large doesn't matter. It's the method that matters. So we may disagree on a lot of things on this channel. You're not going to agree with anybody you come across. What I try to bring with you is a genuine, authentic message. I could come on here and tell you exactly what you want to hear. Some of you apparently want that. And if that's what you're looking for in a YouTube channel, uh, you're kind of a snowflake because you don't want to be, you're easily triggered. You're easily emotionally set off. And let me tell you something, the thing about the, why this is so unstrategic and why it's going to bite you in the ass in life, and I've learned this the hard way many a times, is that when you block your so-called enemies out and you don't keep them close to you, uh, you deprive yourself of intelligence, of intel, of what they're doing, of the skills they know, of the things they know, of the arguments that they're pushing forward. Look, if you're a hardline right winger, you need to be subscribed to as many hardline left wing channels as possible so you can understand all of the various nuance of their arguments so that you can have valid counterpoints so that you know what the counterpoints are. Now, the only reason why you wouldn't do that, and the reverse is true also, if you're a hardline left winger, you want to be subscribed to the hardest of hardline right wing channels. Okay, that's what a person who is an honest seeker of truth would do. I think unconsciously we don't do this because in a way we get comfortable in our position and we don't want to be wrong. We, we fear being wrong. It's an ego thing perhaps. If a person had the capability to withhold that trigger like emotion, to want to push their enemies away, and if they could just control themselves and not have emotional outbursts, and those are the people who are running the world, the people who don't get you don't give a f you know what, right? Because they're not triggered, man. They, they don't get sucked into these petty debates that we get sucked into. They're busy in the business of making money and exploiting your beliefs. That's plain and simple. That's just business, okay? And the people in the highest echelons of business are able to control their emotions or their geniuses in the case of Elon Musk. You know, I had one subscriber on the video I made yesterday. And yes, this video was inspired by the one I did yesterday on where I'm explaining how the polar vortex works and all that. Uh, people got kind of triggered with that, but it was what I expected. 25% of the people pretty much hated the video. Three quarters of the people gave it a thumbs up. And I think a lot of them were just people who thought to themselves, well, you know, I might disagree with what he's saying, but you know, I'm going to give it a thumbs up because, hey, Canadian Prepper is giving me 500 other videos that, you know, of all of those skills that I talked about that I agree with. And hopefully in the future, 90% of my content is going to be stuff where opinion really doesn't matter, where it's more about the method. Somebody made a comment which really stood out amongst all the turd flinging that was going on. And it was that, you know what, I believe in the grand solar minimum hypothesis. I don't think that the earth is warming, but you know, I can agree to disagree. I still like your channel. I'll still, you know, give you support, this, that, and whatever. And that was like one of the coolest comments for me because not only am I not just a friend of me to this guy who he's trying to keep close and he disagrees with, and he's going to linger around and be my troll or whatever, but he actually, you know, just had agreed to disagree. So it wasn't that big a deal. It didn't mean that, you know, his whole world was crashing down and he needed to fight me with every zealous bone in his body about this one particular issue for which he must, I'm talking, uh, I'm not talking about him in particular, but with some people, they must really define themselves 
by standing by a theory like that like why would something like that be so captivating that's what it is when you take one side of an argument you jump in the trenches you batten down the hatches you get really situated and cozy you lay anchor and you grow roots and that's where you stay that's not what i want to do okay i want to keep evolving my perspective there was a time when i was very skeptical of the viewpoint that i put forth yesterday where I challenged it for reasons which were probably different than most of yours. But nonetheless, I was skeptical of the prevailing scientific consensus. Now today, which I know some people are going to disagree that it's a scientific consensus, even if you didn't believe that the earth was warming, and even if you didn't believe that that warming was caused by man, and even if you didn't want to give people the benefit of the doubt, that as much as you believed in the grand solar minimum theory, that there may be some slim, slim, slim chance that the actual narrative being put out by scientists, which is going nowhere, I should add, there is nothing being done on a global scale, which is actually pushing that so-called agenda forward in any meaningful way whatsoever. Anyways, even if you didn't do that, you should still, as a responsible emergency preparedness minded individual, be preparing for that potentiality because it could happen. I mean, if you're prepping for EMP, nuclear warfare, super volcanoes, um, pandemic, which is probably likely the most probable one, and economic collapse, which is highly probable, in my personal opinion, uh, climate disruption, we'll call it, is very, uh, very probable and going to be a problem in the near future, coming to a theater near you. If you can believe in these things which have such a low probability of happening, and not give benefit to the doubt to something which is year after year, month after month, as we see records dropping, record storms, wildfires, droughts, uh, floods, you name it. All of these crazy meteorological events that are happening around the world. If you still persist in this position that you don't think it's worth preparing for, then that is foolish. So why not just prepare for it? Why not just say, okay, I agree to a disagree, but maybe I should prepare for it. So yeah, I don't know. It seems like some people would rather I blow smoke up their ass. And I'm telling you, there are plenty of channels on YouTube who are going to blow smoke up your butt all day. And they're going to make sure you buy your silver and gold. And they're going to make sure they throw in as much uh, biblical conjecture as they need to, to hook your attention and exploit your belief system. If you want real talk, you come to this channel where I'm going to give it to you straight, as straight as I possibly can. Here's another thing that I know about the internet. I know that it's very easy when you are not in front of somebody to dehumanize that person and really just think the worst of their motives. It's the, what is it called again? The fundamental attribution error. We think the worst of others when they do something wrong. But when we do something wrong, oh, it was just an accident. So even when I get those kind of trolls, I realize that in real life, a lot of that negative energy would be diffused within an instant because people only do this shit online. So here's the thing for all of you who, you know, disagree with what I have to say with my beliefs about certain things. I care about your well-being. I genuinely do because I can see past the knee-jerk reaction comments that you leave. I'll tell you what I do appreciate. I appreciate the zeal with which these people are willing to defend certain causes. Unfortunately, I just think your energy is in the wrong place. I think it's in the wrong place. I need, think you need to take some of that energy and channel it into getting ready for what might potentially be coming down the road. Because I can tell you right now, if, if climate disruption happens in a major way, there has been no preparations for this. Absolutely none. The only preparations that have been made, like the seed vault and, you know, uh, elites buying property and safe faraway lands, is very inconsequential for the rest of us. I don't work for anybody. I don't have any Illuminati agenda. You know what? The, the more I start to network with people who are on the scene, who, you know, the, the closer I get in terms of uh, degrees of separation from somebody's, if 
if you want to call them that. I don't believe that in a spiritual sense, but I mean in a movers and shakers of this world type sense. The closer I get to people like that, the more I realize, and the scary thought is, is that they aren't in on it. <laughs> that's, that's the scary part, is that uh, the, the closer you get to the top of the pyramid, you, you're looking for, for that. You're looking for somebody who is maybe can tell you, give you a little bit insight as to what's going on. I haven't met him yet. I'm sure they're, you know, up there somewhere. Uh, how about just, let's just agree to get ready, man. Let's just agree to get our asses as mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally prepared as possible. I care about every one of you. I sincerely do because I know that even my trolliest of trolls, uh, with the exception of a few creeps and uh, people who are just, uh, you know, genetic aberrations who probably aren't going to last too long anyways. Uh, that's a very, 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 very small amount of you. Uh, I sincerely wish you the best of luck. We're all in this together. That's one thing we need to remember. We're all on this rock together. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Health. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.